Okay, well, cutting aluminum, the tests are in. Um, I ruined the bit, first things first. I ruined the bit, I learned a lot doing it, but I ruined the bit that Leo sent me. Sorry about that. However, there were lessons in this destruction. So, right here you can see there's a pocket that I did first that was cut at 20 inches per minute. A depth of, I believe it was 5 thou. I did the same thing here. This is, I was getting my bit square. I was getting, the router was a little bit this way. A little bit this way. And it was leaving a ridge. So I can feel a ridge here. And I can feel less of a ridge and less of a ridge. I was shimming. I'll get to this in a second. So, in fact, I'll get to it now. Once I got the bit square, this is much smoother than this is. That's what I was after on these. You probably already know what happened here. So this is my first cut. And it was great. I was doing it at 5 thou per pass. And you can see, I don't know if you can see very well here, but the edge is cleaner than, say, this was, which is the crappy edge that was left by that down cut bit that I had. This is much cleaner until I hit the tape underneath. The double-sided tape underneath gooped up the bit. And I think that's where things went wrong. Then the second pass, so the, the 5 thou per pass was awesome, but it was 27 passes to get through this 8 inch thick stuff. So I have another, line, another program that was a 32nd of an inch per pass, and that's what happened here. It got to about here and started making a bunch of noise. Oh, I should mention, the router was turned almost all the way down. I, I played around with speeds here, and... At 20 inches per minute, I could have this, the router at the bottom of the speed range, and it cut beautifully still. Um, I think if I were to cut any at a higher speed, at a feed rate that was raised, I would probably want to go with a little bit higher RPMs. But at the lowest speed and 20 inches per minute, the cut came out incredibly good. I was very encouraged and very pleased until I hit the tape, and that gooped the hell out of my bit. Um, the next cut, I switched to a 32nd of an inch per pass, and it got about to here, and it started sounding weird, and that was at mid-range on the speed of the router, because I wasn't quite sure whether it would like that or not. Um, so I turned it all the way down, and it was a little bit quieter, but it was still struggling, and I didn't, I, the shoe and stuff, I couldn't see what was going on until the bit was way over here. Um, so I welded a bunch of aluminum, to the end of this wonderful bit that actually worked great and I will buy a bunch of these because these are awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's what I learned today about cutting aluminum. Um, I do think Leo is absolutely spot on that it was all about the cutter. The machine seems to be able to handle um, cutting aluminum just fine, at least at 20 inches per minute. I didn't go up much faster. I tried playing around with feed rates on this and I got up to 40 was good, 50 was starting to get a little bit jaggedy, but I didn't touch the speed. I was still on the slowest router speed. I got all the way up to 60 before I started to notice how bad it was, um, how much worse it was. It wasn't much worse. It was still way better than this over here. Um, but I never played with the router speed because I was still remarking, and I started to get cut through, and I hit the glue of the, the tape, and things went all to hell. Um, I tried cleaning the goop of the tape off with mineral spirits, but it was hard to get down inside those grooves. And clearly, I think, clearly, that either my depth of cut was way too much for this cutter, and 5 thou at a time was fine, or, and a 32nd was way too much, which is 35 thou, or 30 some odd thou, 31, 2, 5, whatever it is, 30 something thou, and uh, that was either that was the culprit or it was the goop on the cutter, and I'm pretty sure it was the goop from the tape. So, note to self, don't ever let it hit tape don't ever let it hit tape. That's a big deal. Um, I'm going to figure something out for that because there's going to be a lot of this cutout stuff that I've got to find a place to put tape to hold it well enough. But I think if I'm only going 5 thou per pass, it might be fine. Anyway, that is the lesson we learned today. How to weld aluminum to a piece of carbide despite the carbide coating or despite the coating on it. But yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty trashed. I don't think there's anything I can do about fixing this bit. I have another one that's in a smaller shank, but I don't have a collet that can handle it, but I may just get another collet for it. Um, but I like this bit. This first cut and these three cuts were fantastic. So I am still pleased, and it tells me that the machine can handle it. So that's lots of lessons, lots of good information 
Um, anyway, this is kind of a boring video, just standing there holding the camera yakking, but it was easier than trying to describe it in pictures and typing it all out. But anyway, thanks for watching.